Hello everybody and welcome back to some more game pile playing, some more Fable this the Lost the Chapters. We're being told what the gear shop is, but uh, as I said, the plan is for us to do three quests here. The first quest is going to be a bit more of a difficult one, or a challenge more likely, uh, is the name. This one's a bit more difficult to do depending on hitboxes, but let's see. We're discussing whether I'm the fastest apprentice in this guild. I ran to the demon door and back in 50 seconds. Beat that! Alright, we're gonna try and beat his record then. Right then, get to the demon door and back and talk to me in 50 seconds. Um, so I'm pretty sure rolling might be quicker than this, uh, than just running. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's like a, it is a speedrun tactic. I have watched speedruns of this game before. Um, but you are probably just gonna hit my ma middle click button because it's a very loud mouse. Um, but yeah, it's also probably an easier way of getting... Oh, nope, nope, I'm stuck on hitboxes. Screw it. Uh, yeah, the hitbox on those stones can really screw you over, which is why I've actually just stopped running. Or started running. We should, I think, be able to get in, like, the correct place, depending on how many corners we're able to cut. We're going to be, like, three seconds if we're lucky. But we should beat him. No chance! That's amazing! Two seconds. How did you do it? Right, two seconds, uh, one, but we got 25 coins out of that, so that's basically why I do it. You can get some early in-game cash, and, uh, I'm gonna not- There is, like, one super quick way of getting money, uh, with the housing and trophies and stuff. I'm not gonna do that for two reasons. One, it doesn't, like, at the beginning in Battlestone, it takes you a while to get the money to do it, and also it takes, pillow, you know, just forever to actually do anything, because the, like, by the time you can afford it, the most decent trophy you have is, like, 300, so you're making 300 profit. I'm not going to do that uh, as well, because it doesn't train anything, but there is a, uh, a way you can, with the help of your, uh, your guile, which basically allows you to be sneakier and trade better, um, you can trade better and like there's a really easy way to make money so I'm not going to be doing this as if it's the most the legit play forever I'm just going to basically have fun with it so we're probably going to make quite a lot of money uh straight off the bat to help everything out and make everything a bit quicker but let's go talk to this person quickly and I'll carry on explaining that after I have to make an apple pie for the guildmaster at the end of the week but I can't find any more red apples I only need another four if you find enough can you bring them back here I'll reward you Right, we're going to help her get some more apples. We've already picked up, I think, all seven that are in the guild, so let's just talk to her again. Thanks. Thank you so much. The guildmaster will get his pie. Here, have this. And now that we get a blueberry pie, Thank which... You so much, hero. Do it doesn't give us money, but it gives us a tiny bit of early in-game food. Um, and then finally we have another thing up in this tower. That tower being Maze's tower. And we're going to have a little bit of a cutscene and uh, some exposition-y sort of things for... I don't really know if this is in the original game, but it is in the Lost Chapters, obviously, because it's here. And it has some exposition for the Lost Chapters part of the game. But, uh... We'll get to that later. The journey's length is of no consequence. The Oracle must be protected. How can you be so sure? We might need you here. Who knows what battles we might face? The signs are too strong to ignore, and the Northern Wastes have been too long isolated from the Guild. There is much I may learn there. Well, I hope nobody thinks you're running away from a fight, trying to cheat death again. You know how people talk. Talk is of no matter to me. May death close his eyes to you, Maze. What are you waiting for? Come in. That was Scythe. He was a great hero once, back when he had flesh on his bones and blood in his veins. He's just a shell now. What does he know of the choices we have to make, of what it takes to get things done? All right, so some expositiony stuff and just telling you who uh, a certain character we'll see not in the, well, you don't see him in the Maze original, other than that, if it That's is in the original game. But uh, you do see him in the last chapters, so we'll get to see Scythe later on. But all that is now done, we've done all three things we can do. Let's actually start some training, and uh, learn how to fight Come some stuff. On, 
Let's pull, right lad? It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. Right then, just gonna target it and hit it seven times. Easiest thing. I'm not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. All right, then we get given a stick, and same thing again. Super easy. Ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Right, left shift to pick it up, and well we've got done, some experience. Dad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance, while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Okay then, so we got a melee tomp combat test. We, got 20, we get 20 gold for it and 30 renown. So basically, we're gonna have to kill. I think it is ten uh, beetles. So yeah, definitely not hard at all. And they all should be up here. Use your stick. Easy to kill. I'll get it out in a second. Guildmaster, calm down. All right. Yeah, one hit kills with these. I'm not gonna log on because not uh, lock on rather because they are a bit of a pain to uh, change the way you're looking when you do that. Sometimes, especially if like there's a guy to you, if there's like a beetle to your left and you're aiming on the one in front of you and the one on the left's about to hit you, you know, it's a bit annoying. But we got 10 experience for that one each, 40 renown, well 30 renown plus 10 extra, 20 gold, no extra well gold on top that. of that. The beetles are all dead. You can come out of the woods now. And some uh, extra strength XP, and I think actually that was some extra normal XP, or maybe it just shows that up as well. But 18 strength XP as well, which is quite nice, uh, in addition. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. Uh, we've done everything, so we can just go to apprentice ship. Yes. <laughs> the guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Maze had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other side of the river, but that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. Oh, she says she wants the race. I won that race to the demon, do remember? I'm gonna win, win the race against you. No matter what I can ever do, I can never turn down the challenge of beating her in a race. Just something I can't do. But uh, now we're an apprentice, uh, an apprentice, if I can say the word correctly, and basically we're gonna get our normal training done. So we're gonna lose the stick, get a sword, do some archery, and then fire some lightning. Uh, and then we can actually do um, some extra grading stuff to that, and if we get A star on, or A plus on the melee and the archery, we get extra uh, new weapon on the will. We actually get a will potion and a resurrection vial, which is quite nice. So let's talk to the guild master and let start us with our training. Then. You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Come on then, let's see what you've got, farm boy. Oh, whisper, you're asking for it. <laughs> Flourish. 
It is flourish in this case because it's a basic an excuse to get more XP. <laughs> I know it's not a lot. Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. Ha, <laughs> Whisper, you just got, like, you know, dissed, saying you can't attack much. I'm gonna use the Flourish. Oh, <laughs> well, I used the Flourish, just not on her. Essentially, at this point, we just have to block her five times. She normally ends up hitting the air like that a lot of the time, because she budges back and then doesn't hit us, but yeah. There we well go. Done. Now let's see if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, oh, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got a training with some farm boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha! <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learnt the most in their training. This will be a no-holds-barred duel. Just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. All right then. Easy, easy, lemon, squeezy. Oh, you did that. Now this is actually one of the best ways to get free XP, because you can just wreck her and she will maybe hit you once or twice if you basically keep just attacking her. That's all wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance? Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam and you'll do well. Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training. Right then, we're gonna get onto some archery with the Guildmaster. Uh, I'm gonna do the well. As you can see, this guy over here, it's who I think gets, you know, oh no, last time I played this game, which was a while ago, admittedly, he got stuck, <laughs> you know, on the bridge, uh, but he didn't that time. He looked like he was going to, but this guy is actually our, you know, grading you guy for, for melee. Archery, but we're gonna get to him later. Uh, for now. Going to do some archery. Let's continue our training with the bow. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. And put some effort into it. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. But make sure you stay within the circle. My eyes are really freaking me out. Uh, right. Let's just do this. We don't have to aim for this one. We'll aim for the actual test, but we're just going to do that this time. Well done. You hit all the targets. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. So let's see how you fare against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point. The middle one is worth three. And the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points, but you have to balance power, firing rate, and accuracy. Let's see what you can do. Alright then, let's do some archery. Uh, I don't think I'm going to try and get a massive score on this because the test at the end, the actual test is, you know, grading test is where we care about the score. But. You know, we can try something. Mainly just want to be focusing on the Marvelous. back target because it gives us nine points plus... You know, I don't know how they calculate it because it's like nine points, but the more damage you do, the more points you get, so... It might be nine times, you know, whatever quantity of damage. Like, if you get a certain amount of damage, it times this by two or three or four or whatever, but... Yeah, we just need to kind of have a healthy amount of the middle and back... Uh, target and not miss it <laughs> pretty much 
Good shooting. All right, that was terrible Good actually. Shooting. There we go. I want to see if I can get 400 in a few seconds. Nearly. Come on, just one more target. Nope. <laughs> Excellent <laughs> shooting, my lad. Do that in your skill test, and I'll be most impressed. Next, we will learn about the ways of the will. Speak to me when you're ready to continue with your training. I'll be heading to the island by the waterfalls. Right then. So, a bit far away from my mic, but uh, yeah, we got like four off, so I could literally have hit, like, probably done a tiny bit of damage to the front gun and got that. So, don't know why I didn't just do that. But Any now we're off to do to will draining. Combat. And. We're going to get there as soon as we can, just by being quick. And, uh, yeah, then hopefully this skill goes well. I also forgot I actually went earlier when I was doing, like, this, like, spamming that. I just realized I could hold it down and spam W, which is a lot quieter. <laughs> so just realized that. That's good. Uh, but now we're going to get on to shooting electricity, which is going to be fun. It's time to learn about real powers. We'll begin by striking these strong dummies with lightning. All right, let's see what you've got. All right, just hold left shift, pretty much, and... That's it. See how many you can hit in half a minute. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one on the back. You'll only waste valuable mana. Using your willpower depletes your mana, and once used, it takes time to replenish. Right then, it's going to be a very easy one because we're just going to do this. Uh, this is generally like how I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do it, <laughs> just no matter what. You just wait for this guy, you wait until it's red, do that, and then you wait till the middle one is also fine. And then uh, just left shift, hold L, L, hold uh, left click, and then uh, do that for 30 seconds. And don't hit the Guildmaster like I did in my anniversary paper. I think it was that version I did it in. Excellent use of magic. Well done. Very good, lad. You have learnt the free hero discipline. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring the guild. I believe Whisper is about to go into the guild woods, if you wish to join her. Very well. I'll be in the map room when you're ready to continue. We're mainly playing, uh, clicking play because we want to do our tests uh, here, here, and back there. Uh, and it's funny that Whisper runs all the way over there when she's just going to appear back here next time, We do, as soon as we do the melee thing. So what I'm going to do for now, as you can see, there's four things on the map. Three of them are the tests. One of them is this guy over here next to Maze's statue saying, Hey, I'll give you money if you shoot birds. Um, but shooting birds gives you bad deed points. So uh, we're not going to be doing that. Or well, evil deed points, not bad deed. Uh, it's evil, not just bad. Uh, but yeah, we'll do all these three in the next episode, then we'll go play with Whisper in the woods, and, uh, do whatever happens there, and then we'll, uh, basically be able to graduate after doing our final test straight after that. But thanks for watching this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.